there was a music store. Hmm, not really near my house, but near the shopping center where my parents would often go to buy groceries. I always had to get a ride from them or my sister to get to this music store. And I would just spend as much time as I could walking up and down the aisles. I had no idea what I was looking at, really. I mean, I was just a kid, and I was in love with every female singer that came on the radio. And the guy who owned the place was really cool, and he was always happy to talk to me, even though I could never remember any of the obscure titles and musicians he talked about. And he would always ask about my sister. Not in a creepy way, but just because, I don't know, we lived in a small Midwestern town and my sister had a really good taste in music. And I think he was kind of starved for that kind of conversation. I remember one day we were in there and I was humming a tune and it was 99 Red Balloons. And he special ordered something for me. And when it came in, gave it to me, brought it home. And I was expecting, you know, 99 red balloons. But suddenly, I'm hearing this crazy thing. 99 Luft balloons. And he had special ordered the German version of Nina's album for me. And I thought I was the coolest kid on the block. My sister, she said, yeah, that's not bad. It's kind of cool. And I said, well, do you, do you know something cooler by any other cooler Nina? And she said, well, I mean, if you, if you had brought home some Nina Hagen, maybe we could talk. I always hated and loved when my sister pulled out that cooler than thou voice of hers. So, with her birthday coming up, I thought, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to be cool. Well, my parents were on holiday and couldn't really go down to the music shop and buy a secret gift for my sister if she gave me a ride. So, I decided I'm taking that bus. And I got so excited about this little adventure to buy a Nina Hagen album for my sister that I didn't really check which bus it was. I just went down to the nearest bus stop by my house. So there it was. It was late in the day. I'd just gotten home from school and I'd done a little bit of homework. It was getting a little late, but I thought, nah, it's gonna be cool. The place is open till seven o'clock. I'm standing there waiting at bus 179 bus stop. And that's when I realized, hmm, I'm not sure if this is the bus. And there was only one person waiting there. And when I told her, I'm going to get Nina Hagen's album in ecstasy, I had checked it out in the newspaper that, uh, one of the cool newspapers that my sister had, that she was so unimpressed that she just stared off in the bushes behind the bus stop and would not make eye contact with me whatsoever. While I waited there, kind of embarrassed and afraid to ask her anything else, something happened in front of us and I couldn't quite tell this woman about it because I felt kind of ashamed somehow. And while I stared at this thing, knowing that I should probably let her know what's happening in front of us, all I could think about is, hey, that thing in front of us, it's wearing the same Sonic Youth t-shirt that my sister has. Hmm. Yeah, that was a weird day. Great album though. Long live Nina Hagen.